Welcome to Mr. Foy's Easel. Recently, I've been talking about the basics of cartoon creation, and on the most recent program, I talked about the usefulness of circular design to uh, draw cartoon bodies. I want to continue along this same theme today. This particular cartoon body is a character standing still, but pretty soon I want to move into the question of uh, bodies in motion, in action, if you will. And one thing, one thing you need to avoid if you're drawing a cartoon character is you don't want to make them look all uh, stiff and like a mannequin or something. You want to give them, well, let's call it a little body language. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Notice I used the pencil marks so as to get the general shape and I didn't quite follow it on the guy's left foot, but anyhow, let's consider uh, creating characters in different uh, activities, like simply walking. Now, there are a lot of styles of walking, of course. Well, there's several. This guy might be, be out just walking for exercise, or he might be uh, headed toward a sale at the store. Hard to, hard to say. Now, he has a kind of a determined uh, aspect to him. Uh, let me ink it in and Maybe we can draw some conclusion from the expression on his face. Which I haven't decided on yet. Well, he doesn't look as if he's out just for exercise, so let's say he's his car broke down and he's walking home or something. Anyway, he doesn't look all that happy about it. Now there's another type of walking that I want to illustrate right next to uh, this person here, right next to this dude. Let's say... Uh, our character is just, well, ambling along. Maybe you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about shortly. It's particularly important to use the pencil first because uh, it's not that easy to get just the right attitude or right angle of different parts of this character. You noticed I use the term ambling. Unlike uh, his fellow citizen here, this guy doesn't seem to be in any particular hurry. In fact, uh, He's just in a good mood. Perhaps he's uh, humming a, a tune or something as he ambles along, or as they used to say in the Western shows, he's moseying. 
Now on the next character, we're going to speed things up a little bit. You're going to have somebody running. And the, this first somebody is running in a, in a race. Maybe some, maybe a, in a track meet or something. Or maybe it's in one of those races to raise money for a worthy cause and give him a number on there. Uh, I'll link him in and then proceed to draw another kind of runner. He looks pretty, pretty happy. He hasn't got to the last lap yet. We're going to take a short break and then come back and deal more with uh, deal some more with uh, bodies in motion. All right, we're back, and you'll notice this, this runner here, it looks like he's in competition. And this next one, well, in a way, you might say he's in competition. Well, I don't guess yes either, but when you see what's happening here, you'll understand the difference between him and this other runner. Now he's running pretty fast, but there's a bunch of wasps after him, so that's, <laughs> yes, his competition is really to, <laughs> to move faster than these wasps and get to a safe place. All right, let's continue our observations of people doing things, people in, in action. Let's consider, for example, a uh, character who is leaning against something. First of all, I want to show you the wrong way to accomplish this. Okay, let me... Okay, so he's got his hand up against the wall of this woodshed or whatever it is. But is he really leaning? I think you know the answer to that. Well, no, he's not really. And, uh, his position indicates that he's just standing there with his hand against that surface. What you want to do, of course, is to be more realistic this is not the same fella. He's got a different hat on for one thing. But notice how in my pencil sketch I 
am careful to get the right or at least a correct posture for a cartoon of somebody leaning against a wall. Notice how the body is out, the lower part of the body is out of ways from the uh, wall that he's leaning against. And, uh, it's not necessary for him to have his uh, one leg crossed over the other, but this is a common posture that someone would have uh, when uh, when leaning against a tree or anything else. So let me clean this up with my eraser. And uh, I think that from now on you will always know to <laughs> slant the guy so that he really looks like he's leaning. Of course, cartoons are not designed to be realistic, but you, don't, you want to pay attention to such things as angles and positioning of the cartoon body and so forth. What about a cartoon character who is, uh, let's see, lifting something, or ca rather carrying something heavy, let's say. All right. Now the heavy object in this case is a box with something heavy in it. So I'm gonna do the outline of the box here. And the person who's carrying it, it's a very heavy thing, so you don't wanna have him standing uh, at attention, so to speak. He's actually struggling with this heavy load. Let's say he's holding it, waiting for instructions as to where to put it. Maybe he's engaged in delivering a parcel or something. Uh, let me... Uh, Fill him in a little bit, and one uh, thing that we ought to consider in this exercise is, is the expression on the character's face. Uh, more than likely, he's, he's going to be struggling with something that's really heavy, or at least he's not uh, in an exactly happy mood or a happy frame of mind. So let's uh, get a little three-dimensional view of that, of that box. One minute, Floyd. Okay. All right. Hope you can see that the expression on the person's face is compatible with uh, the effort that he's putting forth here and with this very heavy object. And then, of course, you can have a, a character like a, an athlete, in this case, a baseball player. Swinging at the ball and missing. <laughs> well, that's about all the time we have for this episode, but uh, we'll continue uh, at a later session talking about bodies and various activities. Remember, you can contact Mr. Foy's easel at conwaycorp.com. <laughs>